Hi guys, it's Salami Tech. So in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about the ITEL A70 specifications and impression. So from the unboxing, in the box you get your phone, a pouch, a 10 watts charging brake, and your phone, no user manual. I guess ITEL has decided it's a waste of resources. So the ITEL A70 comes with a 6.6 inches water drop display and the 60 adds refresh rate with a peak brightness of 500 nits a plastic back and frame it comes in three color the blue black gold and green for the camera the main camera comes with a 13 megapixel camera which can shoot 1080p at 30 fps and the selfie camera 8 megapixel which can shoot 720p at 30 fps the itl 70 comes with an entry level chipset which is the unisoc t603 which can do your everyday task well you are not expecting much from an entry level chipset the itel a70 comes with an android 13 with an android screen of itel os 13 no announcements on any os update but there will be an occasional security patches the phone will be utilized with a 3 or 4 gigabytes of ram and 120 gigabytes storage with an expandable ram of 5 or 8 giga ram through memory fusion though the difference is into night and day ITEL A70 packs a 5000 mAh battery and a wired fast charging of 10 watts, no wireless charging. The case is just for fashion. The price is 67900 Now on my impression, I think for the price it's justifiable. I mean we are not expecting much from an entry level phone. It has a large screen and a very good camera setup and addition of dynamic bar. I don't think it's necessary because Android users aren't requesting for it. But those who love it, it's available. And for those who don't, it can be turned off, though it comes by default. It can actually play some games. I mean like, it will play lightweight game like um, Score Hero, Temple Run, and even Free Fire, though not on max setting. I mean, this, for the price, it's actually very reasonable. Multitasking is there, though you don't have smooth scrolling. But for 69,700, I don't think any phone in Nigeria is actually offering what a high tele e70 is offering right now at that price range and for the camera also it actually takes fear shots we are not expecting anything much from an entry level phone so for me i personally believe this phone is actually what's in the price comparing the value for money so it's up to you are you going to get it or you're not going to get it and i actually forget to add the security side it actually has a side fingerprint i mean that is actually very nice and it's pretty fast it has a side mounted fingerprint facial recognition which that isn't trusted but at least it works in a very bright place so i think for the specs it's actually just superb for the price if you watch the video to the end please like and share